This right here is my Tesla coil set up with the ZVS. It also has a capacitor bank set up with it. So let's go ahead and take a look at everything real quick. And then we'll put this thing on the tripod and we'll take a look at uh, exactly how this thing works. Here is our capacitor bank right here. Each switch turns on a different capacitor. We have it connected over here to our ZVS. And we have fans running on our ZVS at all time. Makes it nice and cool. Over here on our negative, we have a switch. On our positive, we don't have anything. It just goes over here to our power source. This is 48 volts. And then we have our oscilloscope set up right here with just a little probe to see what's going on. Now what I'll be doing is I'm going to switch each one of these switches here and it's going to change the resonance value. You'll see it on the oscilloscope go up and down. And we're going to go ahead and put this thing in resonance. And then we're going to try to push it a little bit to see how much spark we can get. Alright, let's just set this thing back on the tripod here. There we go. That should be good. Alright, let's begin. Let's just turn this thing on to... We're going to turn it on to 9 volts. We'll turn it on. The little green light right here comes on. You can see on our oscilloscope that we're on. Let's just take one of these on the 47s. You can see it already changed the thing already. There it is again. I can tell you right now, this is a pretty weak resonance. But let's go ahead and flip a couple more caps. We're going to go to the 22s. It's pulling in. But it's taking too much body capacitance into account. We'll turn it back off right here at the switch. As you can see, the power goes off. We're going to move this right here. This is our clip that goes on our Tesla coil. And we're going to start this again. We can already see a much stronger signal building here. You can see the intensity of the resonance getting better. Let's see if we can hit the wall on it. Well, that looks pretty good right there. Man, that's pretty clean. There we go. And there we go. That was too much. So we'll just turn a couple off. Usually if you hit the 47s, you can turn it off quickly and bring it right back up. Let's make sure a couple of these are off. Get it right back up. That's pretty good, right? Let's see what we can do here. Fifteen volts right there. There's a four foot light right there. That's pretty good. It's lit up. Not a problem there. Bring it close, bring it further away. We're still holding good. We can see right here we got a breakout. Let's see if we can increase it now. Ooh, my body capacitance did that. Bring it right back down, take it back down out of tuning. Retune it. Put it back. My finger was touching the metal here. I shouldn't be doing that. There we go. We hit it again. Now, as you can see here, when I miss, I'm able to fix it real quick. These right here are ice cold. 
These fans are doing their job. They're keeping our ZVS nice and cold. What happens when you're at a residence is that this cap bank will put heat back into your circuit. That's why you need the two fans on your ZVS in order to keep it cool. Like I said, they're ice cold. These fans are blowing good. You can see when the field builds out, we're not messing with the fans. They don't turn off. And that has to do with we're on one frequency here. We're on a ZVS, so it directs one frequency. A Slayer Exciter tries to get with every frequency on every device you have. This circuit doesn't. It likes to be close. And it likes to run one frequency. That means the frequency of the fans will not be bothered by it. So, okay. We said that was too much, so we're not going to show on this last 47 this time. We'll drop a couple tens in there. We see that our light went off. Now we're seeing some good sparkage. Everything's running clean. There's no mishaps here. We got a fairly good resonance. If you switch this over to AC right now, yeah, no problem getting some nice big sparks out of it. But as you can see, it's running good. We're at 41 volts, not really affecting anything at all. We have beautiful sparks coming out. Our light here is nice and bright and beautiful. This capacitor bank right here is doing the exact job we wanted it to do. It's bringing us right in resonance. It's allowing us to flow power. It's not backing up energy anywhere. And it's a nice, clean, beautiful look. And the fans are doing their job and keeping everything cool. Again, we're at 41 volts, still no problem. You see, we're resonating right there beautifully on the oscilloscope that kind of reading is absolutely amazing to get let's go a little closer if we can we'll just see what the sparks are yeah that's beautiful not a problem whatsoever We can pull it back. We can see our light bulb's really bright. And we can take a look at our oscilloscope real quick. And I don't think we're going to see a whole lot of it from this distance, but maybe. You can just see the reading is off the chart at this point. We can tune it just a little bit. Ooh, everything's RF hot. There you go. Yeah, by the way, the resonance is intense in here right now. So every piece of metal is hot, by the way. You should probably put plastic over every knob. All right. We'll just drop this back down to 10 volts, and we'll turn it off. And then let's just take one more close-up look at everything. And we'll call this a successful test. Fans beautifully running. Cap bank right here. Absolutely did its job. Here's the setup. There's two wires that come off the cap bank. They go right over here. And one goes to one side and one goes to the other. And that's where it comes out on your normal ZVS. All you have to do is peel the caps off of this thing. You get the ZVS with this particular setup right here. Because it's way better for these fans. The other setup doesn't work. You'd have to remove them and replace them. The switch is on the negative. Yeah, 
This thing is beautiful, nice, it's clean, it's easy to use, it's on a nice base. There's no problems there whatsoever. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll do a build on the cap bank later. But as you can see, everything's in tune, and it works perfectly. Thank you. The old man builds is broken in the head People not seeing reality has put him in the red Where conscious and spirituality was stricken from the norm And replaced with the ignorance of basic magnetic form The geometry of God keeps running through his head That's what makes old man builds broken in the head The old man builds The old man builds Spears of destiny are spinning in his mind Making him travel back and forth in time Battling the establishment for just a little recognition Has him forcing the world to understand his premonition That world will have all the technology in the end Even if it means his life will fail to extend The old man builds The old man builds The old man builds The old man builds Fears of destiny are spinning in his mind Making him travel back and forth in time Destiny are spinning in his mind, making him travel back and forth in time. Battling the establishment for just a little recognition has him forcing the world to understand his premonition. That world will have all the technology in the end, even if it means his life will fail to extend. The old man builds.